it's a spinny seat kind of day, you know what I mean? Hmm, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're well. Um, I've got another driveway mod video for you today. So for all the people been waiting for one of those, it's finally another mod video. Um, been quite excited to do this one because my middle son has wanted me to do it from the day I got the van. Uh, so he's going to be pretty chuffed about this. And I think it's going to help us out with our camping. So if the title hasn't already given it away, I'm going to be installing the rib spinny seats. I've got a driver and a passenger seat which I've purchased from Kira Vans. They've arrived super quick. I've had the actual parts for probably two or three weeks, just been waiting for the time to do it. Um, and um, it's getting a bit dark and all that good stuff. The weather's not the best but we're going to give it a go. Um, there's only one thing I need to do before we get stuck into this and that is to uh, fix myself a coffee. <laughs> This is the heavier one of the two, so I'm assuming this is going to be driver side. So I think there's extra shims and stuff in this one. Let's get this out of here. She waits. Uh, she goes. So there we are. Got a plate. What up? Okay. That is a hell of a piece of gear. So there's a little tub in the middle here with the fixings and bolts in there which we'll see where they go in a minute. And uh, obviously got the release plate, release lever. Um, this appears to be the way up. So, okay, so what, now we've got it all out the box, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and um, figure out what tools we require. So as I um, can run you through what we need to do this. And, um, and I'm gonna get some cameras set up so that I can take you through this as painless as possible, just so you can grasp the idea of what's going on. Um, I never really call my videos tutorials, but they do seem to help people. So remember to give it a thumbs up if that's the case and it's helpful. Um, but yeah, I'm keen to see how these set out. So I'm going to go and set some cameras up, get my tools and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we've got all the bolt, all four of the bolts out um, of the seat. I'm going to be lifting it straight up and out. I just want to say that I flipped over, over to an open-ended 13mm spanner with the front two nuts because um, it's really hard to get a socket in there underneath, even pushed all the way back. So there's a tip: you want a socket for the rears, open-ended for the fronts. 
Let's um, release this cable underneath the seat and lift it out of the way. Ah. <coughs> I'm getting too old for this shit. guys you can probably see i'm having a bit of a job trying to hold the camera and the light and to get to the bolts it's just gone too dark and i've not got any of this beautiful camper van light in the front here with me so i'm going to pick things back up in the morning so you guys can see and i can work so i'll see you in the morning morning guys okay so it's the next day here we've got some daylight now so it's going to be a lot easier to show you what's going on so I'm going to waste no time and I'm going to get stuck straight into um, sitting this base plate on and, and doing up these nuts. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and drop the seat on here. I'm gonna leave it on the turn at the moment because I can get to these um, holes to be able to come up under the seat. So yeah, let's get the seat on. Okay, so that is the driver's seat in and swiveled. I'm gonna to need to make a couple of adjustments on the side trims because the lever, when you pump your, your seat back down, does in fact cat that, catch that. So I'm just gonna Dremel a piece out of that. Um, but now this one's done, I'm gonna get the passenger seat out and get started on fitting the base plate in on that one. Once I've got the seat out, I'll show you where I've, what the, the plate going on. Yeah, cool. Okay guys, so we're cutting to a different angle at the moment because we've discovered a bit of a problem. Um, I took the car for a drive, the van for a drive, and um, the driver's seat for me is just no good. Um, the shim that has come on the rib frame which is there to allow you to miss the handbrake when you when you swivel the seat is raising the seat up far too much for me and it actually feels like it's it's a horrible driving position um, so we've taken a bit of a drastic turn with this because there is nothing wrong with the quality of the product in any way shape or form but the drive is awful um, I'm not going to get used to that so I have completely just removed it now I don't wish to put anybody else off a rib product here, um, 
or Kira vans because they were phenomenally quick at delivering it to me and it came as expected. But for me personally, I drive my seat at a position that I'm not able to replicate now and that's why I'm having to remove it. Um, so if you already drive with your, th th maybe there's something to learn from this. If you drive with your driver's seat already pumped up, then you have room to pump it down by the amount that you're getting lifted by, then you should be fine. But for myself, I just don't want to drive it like that. So um, what I'm going to do is I am now going to still fit the passenger side because I've already completely removed that as the passenger seat, for one, the shim is not on that one, so it doesn't raise it by as much. It's literally just the plates. And two, um, that already was raised slightly, so I feel that it would basically return to where it was and level some out, level it self out. Um, so yeah, that's what's happening, and that's why the sudden change of um, direction this video. Um, again, nothing wrong with the product or the quality. Just beware that on the driver's one that you are raising it by quite a bit. So you should, before you start the project, you probably want to take notice of where your seat position is in terms of height. Um, and uh, if you ride with that, that that already pumped up a few few notches, then you probably wouldn't be affected by this. But now I say I drive, I'm taking I've taken it out already, um, and <laughs> I shall probably move that on um, yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and fit the passenger one I will film that for you so you can see the process I think it's even more simplified than the other side to be fair but we're just gonna go ahead and get the seat out first so as then we can um, get stuck into putting the plate in and show you where we bolt it All right, guys, that's uh, everything wrapped up. It's all uh, buttoned up now and it is spot on. So the situation on the passenger seat is I did need to add a little shim, which I fabricated out of steel because my dual battery was just lifting it up a little bit, just a tiny bit, and I wasn't happy that the fate was gonna rock. Um, so chances are you wouldn't need to do that, so I didn't show it on camera anyway, um, but um, yeah, made a small modification to mine just to make sure that it worked. Also, I've had to Dremel the trim, which I'll show you on another camera now. Um, just just Dremeled out the side there so that the lever, when you've got it jack right down, doesn't col um, sort of bow and scratch up um, and void on that lever. That is something you'd need to do if you want to get the seat to go right down. Um, so yeah, now that I've got that in, Without having the driver's seat on a slot on a spinny seat, this one put right down, you can't really tell. It doesn't look like one's up here and one's down here, which I'm really pleased about because I was kind of worried about that. Um, yeah. So there we go. I can see me enjoying this on camping trips because we basically take that seat out so as we can use the tunnel from the tent, the Van Gogh tent, go through. And often, you know, you've got a bag on this seat anyway, but, um, I c yeah. Ah. Uh-huh, yeah, this will work. So, yeah, great product. Really pleased with the way it's, uh, the quality and everything, as I said before. But it seems really good. Thank you ever so much for watching. Um, 
If you're not already subscribed, smash that subscribe button, hit the bell so you get notified when I upload. Thank you very much everyone for watching this video and I'll see you real soon.